Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk briefly about installing the battery in BMS. I'm not going to go into details about the settings, that will be in the next video. If you've been following my videos, you'll know that the lithium cells have been extracted from a Voltax 300 amp hour 12 volt module. These BMS modules were not up to the task of keeping the cells balanced with only a 50 milliamp balanced current. The first step was to connect all of the cells on the bench in parallel. This way, the high cells balance into the low cells. With all the cells balanced, I connected them in series to form the 48 volt pack and installed the Batrium M8 cell mon that balances. Since these cells have the positive at one end and the negative at the other, I spent a lot of time cutting all of the cables that Batrium supplied and extending them all by about 40 centimeters. All joins were soldered and covered in heat shrink for reliability. The cell mon wiring starts at the most negative cell and then is daisy chained from each cell mon to cell mon working towards the highest voltage of the pack. Here you can see the battery and supervisor in the middle, the positive and negative supply lines which are both fused, and the cell mon connector. The blue Cat5 cable is the CAN bus connection to the inverter. Over on the right hand side you can see the shunt mon shunt. This recording was taken over about half an hour as the system recorded 100% state of charge. As you can see, the cells are balancing one by one. The chart on the top shows the temperature as dots and the chart on the bottom shows the cell voltage. As each cell reaches 3.5 volts, it will start to bleed off current. The cell mon will bleed 1.9 amps from the cell and then will reach an over temperature point and then turn the inverter off to let the cell mons cool down. Once the cell mons have cooled down enough, it will start the charge process again, which will start the balancing process again, and this cycle will continue until the low cells have accepted enough charge. When cells have reached the bleeding voltage threshold, the battery and BMS will tell the inverter to enter a limp mode which will only deliver 1.7 amps. The cells that are at 3.5 volts will bleed off this current and the cells that are under the threshold will increase their state of charge. Again, once the cell mon temperature has reached a threshold, it will go into a cooling state. The cell mon temperatures will cool down and then once they reach an adequate voltage, the balancing process will start again. This process continues until all cells have reached 3.5 volts or 100% state of charge. The battery in BMS allows you to configure different settings for lithium ion phosphate cells. The setting that I have chosen is a long life setting which balances the cells at 3.5 volts rather than 3.65 volts. This is to increase the life of the cell. I probably should have mentioned before that the dots on the top chart are the cell mon temperatures, which increases when they start bleeding current. The little triangles you can see on the bottom chart overlapping the cell voltage bar graphs is the cell temperature. There's thresholds set for each of these. Once all cells have reached the bypass voltage or the balance voltage, the battery and BMS will register the fact that it's reached 100% state of charge. Thanks for watching my video. In the next video I'll talk a little bit about the settings that I've used and why I've used them and talk about the inverter integration. Cheers.